So a lot of us know the value is in building our email list. It is where we can have a one-on-one -on -one connection with our ideal buyers and we have more control over it. Social platforms are so volatile these days. They're always changing the rules and all it takes is one decision and we lose that connection. So we definitely want to always be actively building our email list. And one way that we can do that is by offering something of value in exchange for that email, something targeted to our ideal buyers. So for example, throughout the month of Vlogmas, I am sharing a bunch of free templates with you in exchange for signing up to my newsletter. So that is an example of a lead magnet. So I'm gonna walk you through this. This is completely free. Again, all you have to do is sign up. I should know that this particular template, I think I'm gonna put on sale in my store in January. So be sure to grab it now, just add it to your Notion account. Even if you're not using it right now, if you add it, it's in there, you have access to it. And that way you don't have to pay if I put it in my store in January. So we'll walk through it and then I will share all the extras that are included as well. So here at the top, we have the video that I'm gonna be sharing with you will be in here. Then I have a little welcome message in here. Help and support if you need access. Tools that we're using, and these are all free. So we're gonna be using Notion, Canva, and I've included Squarespace because I did a training earlier this year that was quite popular on my YouTube channel with how to set up the logistics of that. You can absolutely use this with any platform. It's just that I've included that in there for Squarespace users. So they do have access to that video should they need to set it all up. Then we have a checklist to follow through to make sure you're taking care of everything. And then on the right here, I just have the table of contents and these are all clickable. So here we'll start with planning your lead magnet. And I've got instructions for each section, some questions to help prompt answers. So we'll start with your audience. Who are you creating this lead magnet for? What is the problem they are currently experiencing? Now we can brainstorm some potential ideas. I like to say pick at least 10 to 15 ideas here. And then you can address what the core biggest problem is. The more specific you are with the lead magnet, the more successful it tends to be when it comes to converting sales. So if you write down all of those different ideas and then focus on solving one specific problem that ties to a solution that you provide. Then we have desired outcome. So what is their desired outcome and how are you going to provide a solution to that in your lead magnet? Now, you don't have to give away all your services or all your value, but if you can give them a little win just to let them know you are the right person to help them solve this problem, it goes a long way again in converting on the other end of this. Then share three reasons why they might want to sign up. This is the value. And then what do you promise to deliver? When you make a promise to your buyer, that's what they're going to measure as the value. Did you deliver on your promise? And so here I've got a formula here and I've got an example as well to help you out. And then you're gonna put in the main value point you want to cover in your lead magnet. And you don't want to make it too big. You just want to keep it simple. Again, a short win. If it's too big, then it's gonna overwhelm your ideal buyer and they're not going to be able to take action. Whereas if you keep it really simple and focused, they're going to be able to implement this, they're going to achieve the win, and then they're going to get the value. The value of all those downloads that are just sitting on a desktop is zero. So we want to keep it nice and short and specific. Then we've got a disclaimer. Now I've added mine here, and all you have to do is click the plus icon. But I should say this is not for legal purposes. It's not legal information. You need to add your own. It's just there to give you an insight into what you might want to include. Once you've done that, you're going to add your intro. You'll add your main value points and this time you're writing it out for real. It's not just bullet points. Then we have your call to action because you always want to be upselling your client if you can or moving them closer to the real value that you provide, which is your paid products and services. If you offer any kind of discount code, which is very popular with freebies, you can insert that in here. And then once you've written the content for that, their next step is to design your freebie. So to help with this, I've given away a lead magnet design 
Now this is a very simple design that I've created with Canva but you can go in and you can customize it and make it your own. It's just a starting point. Once you've written out your freebie, you've designed your freebie, it's then time to promote it and I've included some promotional graphics for you too. Again, these are very basic. You would just pull in your graphics in here and you can share them out on social media. Then we have delivery and fulfillment, which is going to be a little bit different depending on what platform you use. If you're a Squarespace user, I've included all of those videos here. So everything from creating, launching and delivering it, that's all the logistics, redirect into a thank you page, We've got email marketing training and then how to set up and offer discounts there. If you are using another platform, they always have documentation available on how to set these things up. So I would just go through that, follow that. There's usually tutorials on YouTube as well. There's way too many platforms for me to cover them all in this video, but usually the platform has some good educational content. So I would recommend checking that out. Then you want to set up a landing page. So here we've got just some steps to include in your landing page. And I've given you just a really simple example of one of mine. So you can go ahead and upload your images and just write in your text here. So you would just start right in. And then same with your thank you page, just write out your thank you page content, add an image. And again, I've included just a really simple example of with one of mine. Now, one thing I should say is I used to always give access on the thank you page. So I'd say, thank you for signing up, check your inbox, here's access, thinking it was really helpful. But then I realized it was a huge drop off, whereas people weren't going and confirming their email address or accessing the email. And I needed them to confirm the email address for them to be added to my list. Like I needed the confirmation. So now I don't have the access on the thank you page. I have it in the welcome email. I feel like that's an important step to share because I wish someone had told me before I found out. And then for tracking performance, we've covered scorecards a lot this month, but I've added another one in here. If you want to track the results, it's just the months of the year. Then we have quarter and then we have the year. You can put in your goals just by typing in your goal. So say you want to get you know, 20 signups or whatever this month. You would put that in there and then you can track some of your results here. You can always customize these. If you click into metric, you can change the label. You can change the icon here. You can also change the type. So here I've got it as number. You can adjust the number format. So here you can change it to anything. And then at the bottom here, you can calculate the sum or the average over the course of the year. And I've included December here, but you could just click in here and delete that if you didn't want that. And again, to add another one, you would just click this plus icon to add another one. So that is my lead magnet kit. This is what I use to build out lead magnets, including the one that you're looking at right now. And like I said, you have access to this throughout the month of December, including this lead magnet design template and these social media promotional graphics. So I hope that's helpful. Let me know in the comments below. And if you're enjoying this series, be sure to hit subscribe and click the bell icon so you can be notified when I release my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again tomorrow.